Am I the asshole for my petty response to my boyfriend's purposeful incompetence about chores? My boyfriend has started pretending to be bad at basic life shit, like dishes and laundry. Like he can't do it, so I do it. I felt pretty frustrated with that and told him straight up that I know he didn't forget how to clean since he moved in with me. He was always very competent living alone, and I don't appreciate him forgetting how to do chores. I said that when I asked him to do dishes and he refused and refused until he finally did them wrong, that I was not stupid. He said that he was trying his best and I was wrong for saying he was trying to manipulate me and that from his perspective, I asked him to do something and he did it the best he could and I kept at him because it wasn't up to my impossibly high standards so he couldn't win. And he wanted me to believe him when he says he is trying. Anyways, this might be petty, but I decided to give believing him a try. So he had bleach stained my favorite little black dress. Instead of getting mad, next time he had a family event, I put it on. He asked me if I was really going to wear that. It looked messy. I said that I loved that dress and understand accidents happen. So I wasn't mad or upset. It had bleach spots actually. I thought it looked kind of cool. He said he really thought it looked bad, and I said if he wants, he could Sharpie on the white spots <laughs> real quick in the Uber. It ended up looking even worse. He did it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why did he just have a Sharpie in the Uber? Another time we were having dinner, and he had done the dishes, but put some of the cups and bowls in the dishwasher upside down, so they filled with dirty dishwater. Oh my gosh, that is a pet peeve of mine, it's so actually. Disgusting. Yeah. I took those cups and bowls, dumped them out in the sink, but didn't wash them further and served his food in them. <laughs> <laughs> he said that it was dirty, and I was like, quote, they just came out of the dishwasher. It's just water. It's fine. He said that, no, it was disgusting. <laughs> and I said it was really no biggie. I was getting over my impossibly high cleanliness standard, and I really didn't think it was that gross. The last time I had cooked for a work party of his. After cooking, the dish needed to cool for about 30 minutes, then be refrigerated. I had plans with my friends that night, and I asked him to put the dish away after it cooled. He forgot. The next morning, he noticed the dish was never refrigerated. I said it was fine, it was just a mistake, and it would probably be fine to eat. There wasn't a lot of meat in it anyways. He got frustrated and said that you can't serve meat left out overnight, even if it is only a little. And I said, oh, I think it should be okay. Stuff happens. He stopped being so lazy about chores after he realized I seem totally okay with leaving stuff done badly and that he'll be living with it. But I feel a little petty for having been dishonest about it. Am I the asshole for being petty? Justified asshole. If you are going to insist that you don't know how to do something, what would you do if I wasn't here? Yeah, what did you do before me? What did you do before me? Am I the asshole for telling my soon-to-be mother-in-law that my engagement ring is cursed? I, female 26, just got engaged. My soon-to-be mother-in-law is a nightmare. We are currently renovating a part of our place, and she has been lent a key in the meantime because she keeps coming over uninvited under the guise of helping clean up, but she really just likes to snoop and interfere. I do martial arts and take my engagement ring off before class. I came home from an afternoon class one day, and my engagement ring was not in the jewelry dish that I leave it in. I asked her about it and she told me that she'd taken it to a jeweler to get it cleaned. She looked super smug about it and when I asked which jeweler, she pretended she couldn't remember. I didn't want to give her the satisfaction of having a reaction to it, so I just let it slide for a couple of days. A couple of days pass and I ask her about it again and she's super vague, Still pretending she can't remember which jeweler and saying she's too busy to go pick it up anytime soon. So I said, quote, wow, I really feel for that jeweler. Hope nothing happens to her. She asked what I meant. And I told her that my superstitious Brazilian grandmother had performed some traditional ritual on it that's usually known to curse anyone who takes or handles the ring other than the owner. She looked uneasy and asked me a couple more questions about the ritual, and I made up some story about how my mother's ring had been taken by a burglar who was crushed by a pillar of cement on his way out of the house. I totally made the entire ritual up, and I do have a Brazilian grandmother, but obviously she did not do some sort of ritual to my ring. The next day, my fiancé told me while I was out that she was there to clean up a bit. Lo and behold, I get home and find my ring where I had left it. It didn't look any cleaner than it had before, lol. A week later, I receive an abusive call from her saying she'd been in a minor car accident and she was blaming me and my witch doctor grandmother <laughs> saying she was now cursed for having touched it. 
I passed the phone to my fiance who tried to calm her down, but she was hysterical. I told my fiance what I told her and he scolded me a bit (laughs) because we both know how she is and I should have known she'd react this sort of way. It's been a further week since then and she refuses to talk to me and keeps slandering me to my fiance. Overall, he sort of recognizes how ridiculous she's being, but the drama of the situation is making me wonder if the whole curse tale was taking it a bit too far. So, am I the asshole? So I don't feel like it taught her a lesson enough that it was really worth it. I think it's funny, but yeah, she's still a little bit of the asshole. The justified asshole. Justified asshole. Here we go. Yeah. But also, I don't know if she would have gotten her ring back if she wouldn't have done this. I'm 26 and my sister Anna, 24, married my friend Lance, 27. He was the cool guy in our friend group, handsome, mysterious, smart, and quiet. I don't know how he ended up with my sister. She's the total opposite, loud, funny, and outgoing. She's beautiful though, really beautiful, and when they got together, everyone saw how good they looked. Anna seemed to be really in love with him like all the time. She used to say how dreamy he was, how good he treated her, and how spoiled she felt. But Lance was always so stern and quiet. She would revolve around him at family gatherings, but he wouldn't engage that much with everyone but me and her. I was surprised when he asked her to marry him. My sister never took the wifey role too serious. She had a non-traditional wedding and Lance went along with it. She made a bunch of rules that he agreed to and then they moved into his house. Anna banned house utensils from the wedding list. She doesn't work, didn't finish her studies, and doesn't plan on having any kids. My sister is pretty much only into her looks, and I didn't think that Lance cared for that before. She's always on Snapchat or Instagram. I thought that after getting married, she would dress more appropriate since she's used to wearing crop tops, blouses, dress, and shirts that showed her cleavage, short skirts, or tight jeans, but she says that Lance likes her just fine. Last week was my dad's birthday and we had a party. My sister and Lance came and she was wearing a pretty short floral dress. Nonetheless, most of the men were looking at her, including my dad's friends. Lance was as stoic as always, and my sister came to my mom and I saying that she didn't know why he was so quiet since he's not like that, but he is like that, so what the fuck. That's when I told her that if she didn't dress like that, then he might take her more seriously. She got sad and sat quietly for the rest of the night, and I didn't think much of that. But a few days ago, Lance texted me saying that he would appreciate it if I didn't comment on his wife's way of dressing again. Am I the asshole for telling my sister that her husband would take her more seriously if she didn't dress like she did? My husband stays up late at night and he has to wake up early to go to work. So when he gets home at 5, he has to get two hours of a nap so he could both make up for the lack of sleep and also be ready to stay up late to play with his console. He values his sleep and has one rule in the house that he enforces strictly, which is not to be interrupted while he's sleeping. He literally put a sign on the bedroom door saying, do not wake me up. Under any circumstances, just no, unless someone's hurt or dead though. In this case, he said he still wouldn't be much of help anyway. The kids and I would sometimes wake him up, but for serious reasons. He got mad and started locking the door. I get no access to the room for two hours, but that's not the main problem. This past Tuesday, my three-year-old son had hot oil spill on his hand while his 14-year-old sister was cooking. I heard him scream and saw that the oil was covering his hand and half of his arm. I brought the first aid kit, but he was in so much pain and his skin looked really bad. I rushed to wake my husband up. I kept knocking, but he got no response, so I tried to open it, but it was locked. I spent a while between knocking on the door, he had his phone turned off, and getting dressed after my daughter asked the neighbor to drive us to the hospital. I couldn't waste more time because my son was crying. The neighbor took us to the hospital, and I couldn't help but feel livid the whole time. When we got home, my husband was pacing around asking where we were and why I wasn't answering his text. I blew up on him after I showed him our son's injury and told him that I had pounded on the door to wake him up, but he said that he had his earbuds in it and couldn't hear a thing. I called him reckless and neglectful for ignoring a family emergency. He said I could say the same thing about myself for leaving our son unsupervised and causing him to get a burn. I stopped arguing and went to remove the bedroom door lock. He started yelling at me saying that I had no right. I refused to respond. I just walked off to calm down. He didn't stop complaining, calling me bossy and saying by removing the lock, I've destroyed his peace and quiet and caused him sleep deprivation. He's insisting I put it back, but I refused. I could be wrong for what I've done, but I was frustrated and mad. Am I the asshole for removing the bedroom lock after my husband ignored a family emergency? Am I the asshole for not lying about my profession? Me, 24 female, and my fiance, 28 male, went to his best friend's engagement party today. His best friend is Alex, 30 male, and his fiance is Nell, 27 female. At the party, I was talking to an older lady who spotted my iron ring because she was wearing one. It's presented to engineers in Canada once they graduate. I was asking her a lot of questions about her career and turns out she was Nell's future mother-in-law's sister. Nell and Alex came over to say hi and I congratulated them both. Nell's mother-in-law's sister and I continued our conversation and Nell spoke up and said, Why are you lying about being an engineer? Don't you work at Victoria's Secret or something? Am I the asshole for not lying about my profession? I said I used to work at Victoria's Secret when I was in university, but now I'm a software engineer. Then Nell laughed and said, no, you don't stop lying, and everyone got visibly awkward. My fiancé came over and greeted everyone, and Nell continued to berate me in front of everyone. She said my fiancé shouldn't enable me to lie, and I then told her to stop and stood my ground. I said I would never lie about my job, and I worked really hard to get where I am. She said I'm ruining her engagement party and that someone like me can't be in that field of work. My fiancé got upset and asked Alex if Nell was drunk or not because she was so out of line. He left and I got calls and texts from her friends calling me a bitch.